This video explains steps five and six in the end of year process where you are processing your students. The first screen in the fifth step is a warning that shows students who will be removed from your CHARMS account. The Print Statements buttons provide a final opportunity to print financial statements for these students or for all students. You can also export to Excel the contact information for these students. This screen is informational only. Double check the names listed to make sure you want to remove these students from your account. If the list of students to be deleted is not correct, Click the red No button, then exit the end of your process to fix the problems with the student data. When you are sure you want to remove the listed students from your account, select the green Yes button to continue to the next screen. The second part of the fifth step will look different depending on how your account is set up. You can skip this step by clicking the red button. If you complete the end of your process without doing this step, you will still have these students in your system for the next school year. You can manage them manually if you prefer. For high schools, this screen shows your graduating seniors. You can mark no next to any student who is not graduating. For schools that feed into a school that also uses charms, this screen is for transferring students who are departing your school. You'll see a note about whether the school you feed into has finished its end of year processing. You can mark no next to any student who is not being promoted to the new school. If you have indicated multiple schools in your profile, first you'll need to select one of the schools from the drop-down list. Again, you'll see the note about whether that school has finished its end of year processing. When you are transferring student records to multiple schools, the students are each marked no by default. Set each student who is transferring to the selected school to yes. After you process the first group of students, you'll return to this screen. Select the next school from the drop-down list and from the remaining students, mark yes next to the ones transferring to the selected school. If you don't select a school, the students marked with yes will simply be deleted from CHARMS. Leave any student remaining at your school marked as no. The third scenario is that you are not a high school and your students feed into a school that doesn't use CHARMS. In this case, this screen is for deleting students who are departing your school. The students who are marked with a yes will be deleted from your system during the end of your process. For all three options, you can copy the student information to your alumni database first by clicking Copy to Alumni. When all of the students are marked appropriately, select the green button. It will be marked Transfer Students, Delete Students, or Graduate Students, depending on your scenario. Remember that there is no undo. Select OK in the message. Once your students are processed, select Continue to Next Step. The sixth step is for promoting the students who are not departing your school. You can select Skip this step and manage the student grade levels manually later if you prefer. This screen shows all of your students by grade. Select Promote Students to promote each listed student to the next grade level. Select OK in the message. Remember that this process can take some time. Once the students are processed, select Continue to Next Step. The remaining steps in the end of your process are covered in additional videos, and be sure to check out our library of videos for help with other CHARMS Office procedures.